Welcome back. Now, what is a will? Why is it necessary? Why do we have constant cases of families fighting over properties and inheritances? Our guest, Uyoyo Ero, is a mediator and legal consultant who studied law in the University of Benin. She has become an associate of the Chartered Institute of Arbitration, United Kingdom branch in 2011, a CEDA accredited mediator as well. Now, remember, you can join the conversation. Tweet at us as Plus TV Africa or at Waste Africa One with the hashtag Waste, or you send us SMS or WhatsApp to 081 384663. We're already having WhatsApp messages. But um, thank you so much for joining us, Uyoyo. Now, you heard a lot of things, and Lami was just educating us. We are apparently novice in all of these things. So, for all the mothers out there, this is a gift to you on Mother's Day. No, you know, because we, we can't, we're not planning for our husbands to die, but just be prepared. Prepare for life. Would you like to add a little bit of what she said? Because we're talking about garden weddings and all okay. of that. Um, I think when people start hearing everything that was explaining it seems very complicated and like okay so it what do i do how do i go about all this um for those who want to do their garden weddings and all i'll advise you first just go and do the registry thing quietly do it quietly with a friend or two family members or something when you're true with that so whatever garden you want to do however you want to do it then please go ahead you know you just save yourself a lot of drama even for those who want to do the church wedding and you're not too sure if your church is registered or something quietly. Or the just quietly go and do your court wedding and it covers you really so that's all you need to do awesome to make awesome. it simple actually. awesome so I, I was asking Lami, what, what would you think the common mistakes a lot of women make when it comes to will? Because someone is asking a question. I think I should just take it. Okay. Um, his name is uh, John. He says, when is the right age to get a will done? That's from John. When is the right age to get a Once will done? Once you're over the age of 18 and you have properties, you have Absolutely. assets that can be distributed. Wow. Please protect yourself and get. So is, there's no there's no saying. Okay, let me get to my gray hair and all of no, that. No, no, no. Because if you do it at this time, you can always do a codicil or do another will as time goes by. So there's allowance for you to add on, so like an appendage yeah. to the will. So it doesn't mean that because you've done this will this year, you can't do another one in five years. Or you can't so, update it. So yeah, so you, the, yeah. you are a member of the Center for Effective Dispute Resolution. Yeah, yeah. So let me come to you. So now, there was no will. Okay. I'll give you two scenarios. There was no will, but I have a statutory marriage, like Lamy has explained to us. Okay. And my husband passed on, he has a lot of properties, and his people are on my neck. That's one scenario. Mm -hmm. Second scenario, there's a will, but because probably uh, my husband's people are adamant and they don't want to go by the, the rule of um, the, the will and all of that, they are not having it. They are still on my neck. Those are two scenarios. One, there's okay. a will. One, there's no will. What would you do, you know, in terms of dispute resolutions in that kind of situation? Okay, um, let me say this. I really like advising people that once you smell trouble, talk to a legal consultant, talk to your lawyer. Okay, so that's the first step. Yes. Don't wait till something goes wrong. Okay, let's say, for example, the story you gave, okay, um, the mm -hmm. husband dies, they are coming out, and the family is all there. You can't tell me that woman had no idea. She didn't have red flags. Yes. Of the kind of family she married exactly. into. Exactly. So you don't wait till you find yourself in a bad situation before you try to get a solution for it. Okay? It's, it's like managing a conflict. From the moment you sense that you have funny people in the family, people who might come after you or something, talk to someone who can help you. All right? And let's say, for example, the man dies, the husband dies, there's no will. Of course, the first thing is to talk to your lawyer anyway. What do you do? How do you go about it? As Lamy explained, you need to find out was the marriage well done or not, and it takes it from there. But on another hand, you see a lot of scenarios where women will be like, I don't want to fight, mm. you know? Because when, when you meet a lawyer, most times the first thing they'll tell you, oh, well, this is what I see as your right. This is what I see as your position, so let's go to court. A lot of women shy away from that because in the first place, we have the resources you want to use to fight. That's it. If they are taking everything from you right now, do you have enough to start the fight? So when they think about that, they say, okay, let's, maybe we should settle outside the court. That's where ADR, mediation, and everything comes in. Okay, you come in, the family members come in, and we try to talk. Everyone sits down, okay, this is my position, that's my position. This is why I want this, and that's why I want that. In the process, 
who might be lucky enough to get the wife something reasonable for herself and the children. But if for any reason we don't, then it's like litigation is really the last option anyway. You have no option but to go for that. So that's what happens. So when there's no will, what then happens? That's you, your scenario you just painted was when, there was when there's a will. If there's no will, but you have a statutory marriage, okay. you, can still, you can still consult your lawyer. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Whatever. That's why I said the first step, when first you step. smell trouble. But the, you know, you mentioned out. something very critical. At that point, yes, a lot of women don't want to fight. Because I've, I've seen cases of even somebody's um, partner dying in the hospital and they say, no, 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 let's just leave it. No need to, to probe it. No need to do autopsy. Let's just leave it. It's God and all of that. Okay. Naturally, we don't like to go to court and all of that. Maybe yeah. because of the... So is it that it's time consuming or is it that it's too... Um, it will take a lot of finances to, to, to fight this battle? Well, <laughs> aside to be... the finances that you need to fight, um, if you're a wife, maybe the husband died in his 40s, in his 50s, he had a lot of property. The next thing you hear is, oh, she's a gold digger. Mm. Oh, she came here just because she wanted something out of it. And yeah. that's why she's fighting. If not, she should be mourning right now, not thinking about what she gets out of all this. You know, so when such issues come out, the women tend to just shy away, like, I can't just do this, I can't go to the drama. Let it not seem like I didn't love him and I was here just for the money okay. and things like that. I think let's leave some okay. time for our audience. Okay, Sandy, so well, I'll yeah, come to I you. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'll come to you. Let me just take, quickly take, that's for Lamy. Say, please confirm. Um, that's Franca. She says, please confirm uh, my, whether my w marriage is legal. I did mine in the Ikeja registry. <laughs> Ikeja. I'm not aware there's any federal registry okay. for marriages in Ikeja. Franca, go and check your certificate. Please. So. No, what she should do is just go to the um, Ministry website of, of Ministry, of, Ministry Interior. of Interior and there are steps there for regularization of marriages mm -hmm. that's, that were conducted. At okay, so I would actually want you to break it down for us. Like the average man out there who doesn't understand. Like they hear will, but they don't really understand what is going on because you can't rule out the fact that some people don't understand. So first, how do I make a will? And mm. then second, what makes a will valid? Yeah. So do you want me to answer that? Okay. Yeah, anybody. All right. Yeah. A will is just a testamentary document. It takes effect after the death of the person. Okay. So whatever you do at uh, that time will not take effect till after. The and what makes your will valid? You have to be sure of at the time that is why it is always very important that don't wait till when you're ill to make a will because that is one of the bases where people challenge and they can punch holes in the yes. in the will yeah yes make sure that you the the testator we call people who make wills mm -hmm. testator the testator must make sure that they do the will they make the will when they are fit enough so mentally fit, mentally alert. Fit, yeah. So you're sure of what you're giving away, you're sure that you're making a will. Then ensure that you have executors that are willing to execute your will. Some people would put their children who are abroad, who mm -hmm. don't have intention of coming to Nigeria to leave. How are they going to execute that will? <laughs> I would like Uyoyo to add to no. that, but I want to ask a question from Susan. My parents are very old and yet have no will with over 10 children. Wow. This is already dispute coming. <laughs> step, uh, step and all, that they have step children and all of that. How mm. do you get your parents to sort things out, you know, before, I mean, any issues? Well, like she said, it's just convincing them to do a will. Mm. Because um, if you try to convince them... What if you go there and they tell you, are you, pl are you planning to you kill me? No, because, me. sorry, as a, as a beneficiary of that will, you cannot attest to the will. Mm. Yeah. And it's safer for the person not to know the content of the will. Definitely. And I would say that that child should not even bother getting a lawyer for the parent. Let them Definitely. get an independent lawyer mm -hmm. who would now take them through the steps and keep it safely at the probate registry of the whatever um, high court in their jurisdiction. So Tolu is saying now, is it possible to make a will lodgment after death? I don't get that. After death? Yes. No, then no. it won't take, it's no longer a will. Because who's going to lodge it? Is it going to be one of the family members who ought not to really know the content of the will? Yeah. I mean, who's going so to So how many, what, what, have, what have been your worst cases in terms of, you know, this oh, dispute resolution? resolution yeah. Okay, um, let's see. Situations where, like she said, there are siblings, there's a lot of property, and the siblings are here, and it's like, oh, I ought to get this, or you to get that, or maybe, you know, things of that sort coming up. You just try to get all the parties seated. 
sometimes, you know, when we're talking about family here, it's not like when you have a contract and people are outside and trying to fight about something. For a brother, for a sibling not to want their own sibling or their parents or something to have a share in the property, there should be a reason. So that's what we try to do. We try to get down to the bottom of the issue. Why? Why do you feel this person is not entitled to this? What can this person do or what can be done to make you change your mind and just, you know, understand that, okay, this is a family thing. You don't need to take it out there and, you know, like people will say, so, um, putting out your debt ceiling in the public, mm. you know. So what can we do within ourselves to, and just resolve this? Um, I won't say um, you get a, um, like I say, success hundred percent because some people are quite hard. Okay, um, there are times where maybe it's the male and like, no, I'm not shifting ground. Mm. Like, so have you happening. heard? No, because Nigeria we are very diabolical. <laughs> 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 you know, so <laughs> have you had cases of you know people now uh, uh, getting down and dirty to all the diabolical stuff and oh. all of that? And how have you resolved it? Then I wanted to ask again: okay. How easy is it for you to be engaged as a family lawyer? Because I believe every family should have a lawyer, yeah. but most yes. people don't have lawyers because they feel like people are too much. Anything with law. There will be money and there's time wasting. I mean, that's the perception a lot of people make. That's that why they run true. away from lawyers. Mm -hmm. So, what would is it easy to have a family lawyer to have a re, like a retainership with a law firm and all of that? It is. I believe it is, isn't it? I would like it, to answer that. Okay, Actually, I think it's there. cheaper to have to one. To have right? one. Yes. In anticipation of any issue, yeah. than, than wait to wait until then things are bad. You. Ah, but don't forget, if I've been your lawyer, family lawyer for ten years. Of course, there's a lot of things I would do pro bono. Yeah. Yes. Pro bono. Do you understand? And retainership. It's not. I don't think lawyers are that expensive the way people they say. They are not really. No, I don't think. I think so. it's a mindset, or maybe yeah. where you're going. You need to, to approach. Like, yeah. You you adjust yourself based on your budget, right? Yeah. You can't uh, you can't be. Um, let's say we are talking about a property that is like two million, three million. Face me, I face you kind of thing, and you say you want to go to yeah, a an SN. Oh yes, an SN, an SN to, of course. I mean, you're yeah. here. <laughs> you know, there, there are lawyers lawyer. for every grade, every grade right? Yeah. So yeah. you just take one that you can afford. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of trying to... I'm not a damn good thing, so I don't yeah, really need an expensive then, sorry, lawyer. Sorry to go <laughs> back. Oh, I wanted to add that. What about the diabolic... Uh, uh, okay. Because I know that Nigerians were very traditional. Yes. We're very... Yeah, so... Yeah, yes. a um, How do you resolve those kind of issues? Okay, of course we can really give examples, real life examples and all that stuff. Um, there are cases where you say, oh, okay, like... It's a beneath thing. Let me give you an example. Yeah. I can drop in Benin also. Um, it's a beneath thing and it's like, oh, maybe I had sons and daughters. There was another wife that came in much later. They didn't want my own children to inherit, so they killed off my sons. Mm -hmm. So um, the property will be shared. Things like that come up. Like, I'm not going to say it's true or it's not. But we are going to look at that. Okay, this is the situation. This is what has happened. Now, what do you want? Hmm. Okay, what do you want? Okay, do you want the property to be shared in this manner or that manner? Do you, you know, let's just find a middle ground somewhere. Because we will, if we want to go about the diabolic thing, we won't go anywhere. Mm. We can't even put that, There's put always that the in pot, that. actually. Mm. Mm. Yes, you know? when you're your family lawyer, there, especially when it comes to wills, then divorce cases, there's even actually one that I'm taking mm. off at the moment. And I'm already put, foreseeing, you know, a challenge. But mm. as a Christian, what do you do? You pray about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, because and there's nothing like juju and in Nigerian jurisprudence. So, so what about there's a statistic, altered, yeah. Okay. yeah. Altered wills. Have you ever uh, come? Have you ever handled handled a situation like that where obviously someone has a will and then someone comes up and says, and say, oh, "No, they, someone altered it." No, naturally, it, people pretend yeah. to challenge a will. Mm. So Especially you, when it's not in their favor. Yes. Yeah. So you need yeah. to, that is why we're, when we're talking about validity, the testator has to take a lot of steps yeah. to make so your sure. will challenge proof. Steps like what? Yes. Doubt. No, first, no, she talked about, about no, okay. part of the, you have to have witnesses. Okay. Who saw you sign. Mm. And please ensure you have witnesses that have integrity. Mm. Very important. Because court relies so much on integrity, on the integrity of, of your witnesses. witnesses. So yeah. make sure you have executors that would execute it, execute, um, mm. execute your will stated, will? and make sure that at the time you're making the will, you are in good. Mental state. So I I read a report, a very shocking report. That says mm -hmm. um, that says over forty two percent of widows are found to be dispossessed of their properties. That's a huge number. 
So for every time a widow, I mean, somebody is widowed, you know, 42% of that number. And um, according to another report I read, in 20, I think 2018, this was a research that was done mm -hmm. um, to about two years ago, that Nigeria had over 8 million widows. And I mean, and also 8 million disadvantaged widows. And in that 8 million, they had with over 21 million children. So how do we fight this, you know, and reduce these numbers to the barest minimum? All right, this is what I'll say. Um, based on my experience and things I've seen, actually when people now come in and things have really gone bad and they're like, okay, what's the way forward? I would say this, as a lady, from the moment you get married, start thinking, you're going to have children, right? Yeah. Or you already have children. Yeah. Whatever the case is, what's the future for you? Talk with your husband. What's our plan for the future? Yeah. Now, if in a scenario you find yourself with a husband who's like, he's not interested in wills and everything, now I don't want to kill me and everything. We are smart these days. Do something about it. Talk to a lawyer. What's the way forward? Okay, let me digress a bit. Let's not make it too technical. Be wise. Mm. Start something. Start a business of your own. And start if, probably creating your own properties in your exactly. own name and building. Yeah. You don't okay, need I would to like to wait come for in him. Too. Like, do you understand? Mm. You, you can so help make way. him build a business for you in your name mm. right. another you thing the only sorry another thing that you can do is you know i talked about right of survivorship mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. ensure that when your property when you're buying properties ensure yes. that you buy it in the name of both, both people both parties, yeah. the couple but you know there are some but men that don't yeah, like yeah, that i was going to get back to that men i think a lot goes down on men the burden is on the men yeah. mm -hmm. please trust your spouses mm. that's the beginning i think that's the starting point when you trust your spouses, your, your, your spouse will know the extent of what you have. A lot of widows don't even know the they extent don't know. of what, what their spouse is. Yeah, they don't they even know have. the bank account. Yes. They don't know so even have, if you have a letter of administration, how do you administer properties you do not know exist? Do you mm. understand? And another thing women should do is, apart from the right of survivorship, ensure that you get married properly. Mm. Please get married on that. You can't statute. overemphasize that. No, Please. And make sure you do it in a valid manner. Awesome. So and you, you men, have... please make it real. Also, awesome. it makes it simple. Right. Okay, so uh, Uyoyo, tell us the final things. I mean, there's a woman there, she's celebrating Mother's Day and all of okay. that. How can she begin to do the right thing? Because for you, when we do the right thing, you, it makes your job easy. Definitely. Yeah, so what would you okay, say? So aside, Apart from the ladies being smart. Aside what Lamia has said, mm. make sure your marriage is right and everything. I think I would encourage every woman to build her own empire. Okay. We're way past the time where we want to depend on, on what someone left behind to survive. So if, if whatever scenario you find yourself, whether your husband is giving it to you, he's not giving it to you, or you're sure he has a will or not, build something for yourself and for your children. Absolutely. And so if anything goes wrong, if you even want to fight, you need funds to fight for sure. cases that need to get that. to the Supreme Court. I mean, what are you going to fight with? You need money, right? So if you have something of your own, on your own, you can use that to fight if you need to fight for his. And something but, to sustain you during yes, dependency during, of the suit. Yes, and if, if not, you just have your own thing and whoever wants to take his, well, they're welcome to it. They are still his family anyway. Yeah. So. If they, so if they can, need it I and think, you have more for yourself, yeah. they can have it. It's no not problem. a big deal. I think that uh, on that note, on that very beautiful note, we're going to wrap it up here. Mm -hmm. um, because, I mean, we're celebrating Mother's Day, like we mm -hmm. said earlier. It's important that mothers begin to... Um, don't don't, don't, don't love blindly. Yeah, mm -hmm. become aware of a lot of things so that we don't... Look, I mean, they, when I saw the figures, it's alarming. Mm -hmm. How can you have about 40% of the, uh, this... Uh, dispose, this and it goes back to... Yeah. Please. Thank you so much, Olamide Onifade, for coming on the show today. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you so much, Yoyo. -yo. Mm -hmm. Now, you can okay. watch a repeat broadcast. We'll do the show after the show. You, you tell us what you want to say. Oh. We, you can watch a repeat broadcast at, on Mondays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 3 p.m. It's been a very, very insightful. Lami, I didn't know you are, you are a teacher like this. Thank you so much again for coming. You broke it down for me in a very easy way. She went the technical. <laughs> All right, so in case you missed today's quote, um, here it is again. No woman should lose her status, her livelihood, or her properties when her husband dies. That's from Ban Ki-moon. Remember, get smart, get wise, and be safe, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your, your week, yeah, and stay safe. <laughs>